here uh, with Lee and Jet Guitars. Lee has, still has, because of the former association with a company, still has a VU meter up his butt. Is that correct? Always. It's always on. It's always flat. I expected a harder reaction because that, that came out of a conversation yesterday because, you know, the company that it was previously associated with, and we made many videos, um, is big on VU meters. Now these guitars that you are now shilling out have no VU meters. How, how do you handle it? They don't. It's a struggle, but we do okay by the fact that we've got lots of other great features instead of VU meters. So we You hold the mic. I'll grab the first guitar. Okay. Let's go for it. So these guitars are clearly different from the rest because they are... These are the upside down ones. The weird. These are for Stranger Things. This is... I was, I was just going to go with this. Yeah, I know where you're going so with this. So this is the guitar yeah. you play Metallica on, obviously. Yes, of course. This is the Master of Puppets It, it doesn't guitar. work in the real world, but of course, once you're in the upside down, oh, you can... in the can, upside down, it's you, all like this. In the upside down, it's the right way down. And then you can play Metallica all night, slay demons with them, and... Should we look at guitars for real people? Well, yeah, I wouldn't. Are we, are we, are we calling people left-handed, not <laughs> real people? Just offend a I think, lot of I think you've just, uh, you know, I don't know if any left-handed people watch your channel, but now they don't. Now we're done. That's it. Both of them are I going to. Guys. Both of them are not going to watch anymore. <laughs> but hey. But yeah, let's let's look at things for real now, people. Now, uh, Jet, uh, from where? Jet are based in Slovenia. They're a family company based in Slovenia. They started in 2020. Um, and here we are with them. You know, they have a, they've got long heritage already in our industry because they have flight ukuleles. So flight ukuleles yes, have been going that, yeah. for 10, 15 years. But Jet is a new um, company for them, a, a new sister company. Um, and these are uh, budget instruments, but what, from what I could see, pretty high quality. So it, I'm going to say this is a Harley Benton competitor. You can say that. I can say it. Yep. Um, from what I could see. Obviously, it's a booth, so there might be handpicked. Who knows? But it is pretty high-end quality for low end, lower end yeah. pricing, not not bargain basement pricing. The, the, the whole concept with Jet Guitars is is boutique style guitars, but they're affordable for everybody. So you um, know. And look, this this is like the most probably you can spend with them at 600 bucks. Yep. What a gorgeous top. Obviously, it is a veneer. It will have to be. Yep. Um, I love that it's a fixed bridge HSS. This is kind of AZ style, yep. but probably just a single coil. Yes. See? Yep. Almost as go. if I know what it I'm always, talking about. I know. Who would have thought after all um, this time? They did roasted maple on budget guitars before anyone else did. Yes. We have locking tuners. We have actually pretty cool matching headstock with a really cool design, I think. Um, bone nuts as well. Bone nuts. Who doesn't like a good bone? Everybody loves bone. Um, mahogany, body, string through, everything that I see in terms of the craftsmanship is pretty high-end. I would have to get it set up, hear it on an amp, yep. but I like what I see and I like that there's some competition happening in that price point. Yes. I think there's still enough room for everyone because right now there isn't that much competition. No. To me there's Yamaha Pacifica, which is a great entry-level guitar. There's Harley Benton is ruling that price point. There's Ibanez with the Geos, which have gotten quite good. They were total shit, and the new Geos are pretty fucking good. Mm -hmm. So, for me, that's about the competition that you It have. is, it is, it is. You know, and, and these really are, once you actually, I mean, even in the pictures, they look great, but once you actually pick them up, feel them, you can feel all the little touches, design touches that have been done to make these guitars feel and play, you know, way above their price point, in my opinion. Here we've got $3.99 and uh, you have to get the shirt with it. Yeah, I think we should be shipping that shirt with that guitar. I think it's essential. Actually, that would be super funny. I think we should do that. The shirt is... We'd have to oh, obviously get your, it, your licensing. The, the problem but, yeah. is it's 40 bucks for the shirt. <laughs> it's, it's fine, not cheap. you know. I mean, but, it I mean come on, that, that, how much does that freaking color pop? Huh? Roasted maple, locking, yep. all, all the goods, three ninety nine on yep. the door. Yep, yep. But I mean, the, the, and these are the higher, the higher price point models that we do. You and know, let me, for let, the me, let me point something out. Look, we love our Holly Bentons, but for example, one, there are these tiny, tiny things that they do to save money. Mm -hmm. For example, some of the screws are lesser quality, so you save 0 0.2 cents, yep. and then they might strip. But one thing they don't do on the Holly Bentons, 
there is no hex screw yeah. to secure the knob, which means they can fall off quite a bit easier because that hex screw on you know two three thousand guitars made yes. times two knobs will add up to some apparently considerable amount of money. Some monies. And there's a little things that they're saving on, which is fine. That's why they are a, a good bang for the buck. But I wish they did this because on my signature Holly Benton, for example, you can just take the knob off. I wish they had these knobs. So yeah. you're not saving on that. No. I like that. No. And there's lots of little touches where money could have been saved on these guitars, but instead the money is being spent on the guitars to give the best possible guitar for the money. Where are they know? made? They're made in China, uh, of course. But they have their own factory and quality control is, is simply phenomenal, you know? Now this is this is gorgeous. Yep. With a, with a yeah. The, uh... Yeah. And again, they didn't, you know, they didn't have to do that, did they? They didn't have to have the matching pearlescent plate on the back. They could have just stuck a normal plate and would have saved a few cents, whatever. But everything is relatively big block there. Big block equals good tone. We know this. Some people are debating this, but no. Well, they can keep debating. It. It's fine. But it's true. Wilkinson trim. Yes. Where's Trevor? Trevor. He's back there. He's just over there. Yeah. M series um, trims on all of these, which, as we know are the best we can get for the price point. And again, it'd be easy to put a cheaper trim in it, but everything we do with the Jet stuff is just to get a, the best possible guitar that we can for the price point. 349, I'm really curious to get them in the studio. If you want to see a big ass mega unboxing video that did extremely well, Andy Ferris, the Guitar Geek, has already covered some of that. So watch that and then hopefully watch videos on my channel uh, if I convince these nice people to give me guitars and money. We'll find out. Obviously, I don't need money, but you know, Michiel eats, he runs the camera, this guy's a pro, we've he's got, a he's, he's a freaking reverend and a layered. To, we've got to look after him. He's the former mayor of hell. A pro like this, he's a scrum, did you know that he's a scrum master? No. Do you know what a scrum master is? No. He is one, he's got the PDF That's to prove exciting. it. Exciting. Yeah. I'm gonna have to see this PDF. He's, he's, you show me later. He's a Scottish laird, he's a reverend, he's oh. a former mayor of hell and a scrum master. I can't afford this guy. Oh. If you guys why don't pay me- Why is he even here? Is this a charity for you? To you? I, I, I yeah. think so. Well, Did you win a competition to get him? I told him everything you pay me goes to him. Oh, uh, well that makes sense. Well in that case we'll have to pay you. I wasn't gonna pay you. Well, no, But now you know why. He's going to be out there, fine. That's fine. Otherwise, I'll be giving you money. You'd be buying more T-shirts like this. Who wants that? I can't, I can't support that, Henning. You know, you've got enough. It's, it's, <laughs> it's gone wrong too many times for you. But if it's if it's for Mikael, that's fine. Yeah, of course. Um, so Jet Guitars. Hopefully, we'll see more of these around the webs. And um, I really want to check them out on an amp because it look nice. Quality looks nice. It's all good. But do they sound good? I've had guitars for four thousand bucks on my lap from super mega luthiers, and they sounded worse than a hundred twenty euro Harley. It's, yeah. it's absolutely plank, plank, no sound, whatever. So pretty is all good, but they need to deliver a certain level, not master level, yeah. but a certain level absolutely. of tonal quality. Absolutely, and I'm confident they will, so we need to make that happen, don't we? I think that's the next thing. And if anybody wants to find anything out in the meantime, jetguitars.com, everything's on there. They can have a look, uh, you know, and pester Henning to get some videos done. And let's see if we can uh, back up what we're saying. And that being said, animals at the end. Yeah.